Welcome to Prince Perspective. It is a rare blog thing that I do every once in a while to, uh, to just talk about some things that are coming up and uh, give my thoughts and opinions on certain things. Today is pretty Halloween-centric, just like my channel has been most of this month. We're going to be talking about, uh, about the new uh, Halloween Returns. There is what I just showed there was it's supposedly the uh, teaser poster for it. I'm not sure if that's still fan art, and that's just a... Uh, but either way, it looks kind of good. If it was a fan, good job. If it's actual teaser teaser poster for it. Excellent job. And we're also going to talk about the John Carpenter controversy, which uh, turned into my uh, friend Brandon Skin Slip controversy, and uh, maybe a couple other things as well. First off, uh, I've been asked about my, uh, sometimes, like every once in a while I get somebody that'll say, you know, try and speak up. And I do try and speak as loud as I can on this here. Uh, just remember that uh, unlike a lot of like YouTubers that have a lot of equipment and stuff like that, I have my iMac, or in, sometimes when I'm on vacation, I use my iPad, and I desperately need to get a mic. I just want to get some kind of cheap-ass mic that's going to work less than what I use right now. Uh, when I do go on uh, streams, I do use this inexpensive little set of headphones, which actually helps out when I'm doing that. But uh, first off, let's talk about Halloween Returns. There's been a lot of talk about it and what it's, how it's going to you know, play into the... Uh, it's kind of like almost reboot to like the second one again. And how do I feel about that? Well, here's a, the well. First off, and I got to say this right now, uh, H2O often gets labeled as a reboot of the series, or like it completely like uh, forgot the rest of the series. That's that's actually not true. When the writer was actually creating H2O, there was a scene in it that mentioned uh, Jamie's uh, Jamie Lloyd actually mentioned the Halloween Massacre. There's actually some kind of like references there, but they were taken out because the producers didn't want to get like bogged down with the other storyline and they wanted to focus on Jamie Lee Curtis being part of it. So H2O really is actually a sequel, but uh, because uh, the producers now in, in retrospect will go and say, well, yes, sure, of course, it's it's right after number two. We'll just forget those other ones because, you know, obviously five and six, you know, didn't do the, the way they wanted them to do. But originally, no, the, well, it was never meant to be a reboot, and it wasn't a reboot. <laughs> but uh, let's get that out of the way, because I've been asked that a lot recently. Uh, no. But uh, how do I feel about Halloween Returns? I actually like the idea. And, you know, even if this is kind of a reboot of the series, I mean, uh, look what we just had for the last uh, few years for Halloween. Uh, some people love them, some people hate them. You know which category I'm in. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Uh, we just finished off with Rob Zombie's Halloween, whatever they're called. They're not Halloween films. They're films that has, have a character that just happens to have similar names <laughs> as the characters from Halloween. Uh, but, so now we're get, trying to get back on track. And there's a bunch of people that are obviously raging about that, actually. They're like, you know, we are, how dare we do this? Or, how we do, you know, this, is, you know how, it's, this has been done before. Actually, we don't know if what's been done before, what hasn't been done before. We just know that they're trying to get Halloween back. It's like being scary and being Myers again. So, I um, don't see anything wrong with that. I'm actually very excited about Halloween Returns. Uh, I'm hoping that's going to be a very good film and a nice, uh, like, bring back to the actual, uh, the actual franchise. So, Halloween Returns, I have no problem with it. I hope it does really well. I'll be there to support it. I'll be going to the theater to watch this movie. And it's one that I'm really, really excited and I'm really interested about. So just uh, that my thought on Halloween Returns, because a lot of people asked me what I thought about it and said, well, I'm going to make a video because I'm a huge Halloween fan. Uh, well, this is the time. I waited for Halloween to make this video. No, it wasn't Halloween, Halloween month. Halloween Returns is something I'm very excited about. I can actually talk about it now a little bit and just say that, yes, uh, you know, there's people that are online and they're bitching about it and they're complaining already and saying, oh, the director's going to get this wrong or this wrong. And they don't know, and nobody knows shit right now because actually nobody's seen the film. Uh, the film hasn't, hasn't been done and uh, people just like to complain. You, you they get out, They'll come on there and they'll say all kinds of stuff because they like to do that. And that's okay. I mean, that's the right. It's your God-given right to complain. Uh, but wait till you see something first. I mean, come on. Give me, give me a break. That's like, uh, yeah, just, just wait till you actually see the film before. I hate that because we, as a horror community, for, for so long, we were such a, 
uh, you know, together, community, and, and so like, um, we, you know, because horror fans would get crapped on a lot because we watch horror movies. You know, it's we're you know, we're creepy and stuff. Uh, but uh, so we, you know, we stood up for one another. We took care of our own. We, we you know, we went in with kind of a hope, hopefully, uh, an attitude of like being out there, like to support like the community. And you know, if we like something, we talk about it. If we didn't like something, we talk about it. We were actually very passionate about what we talk about. And uh, but it seems like a lot more lately, people tend to like turn on their own. That's really is, that's a shame, uh, especially when you really haven't seen anything yet. But uh, Halloween Returns, for me, I'm really excited about. And speaking about passion on something, uh, John Carpenter sued Luc Besson, not for very much money, actually, just for, for in monetary terms, not for a lot, about uh, over the film Lockout being very similar to Escape from New York. Now, I don't know enough about the case itself. Well, actually, it's not so much the case itself. I don't know enough about what behind the scenes on the case itself to actually say, uh, you know, John Carpenter's wrong on this or Luc Besson's wrong on this. Uh, because honestly, this may be about that. But I know that it may have, act, you know, just like anything else in Hollywood, there may have been other things that that this had to deal with. It didn't have to do with the film at all. And that's obviously something that you, got, that you have to think about. That maybe John Carpenter had another reason to just get back at Luc Besson that, that didn't have to do with that. Both men have uh, have egos, of course, and they're uh, both directors. John Carpenter's a better director than Luc Besson. I don't think anybody's ever going to like gonna, like wonder about that one. Uh, that being said, my good friend Brandon, uh, skin slip on here, he, uh, he's in Cathodre with a lot of us, and uh, so he talked about, uh, he did a four, or was that maybe a, just under five minute video, uh, right after it happened, and he mentioned, you know, he was he felt betrayed by Carpenter. Uh, is he was a brand as a Carpenter as a Carpenter fan like me. He actually, is a, a big fan of John Carpenter, and uh, he got very he got extremely passionate and did a did a really good rant video actually. As far as like rant videos go, he actually he did he did really good and uh, I say a lot of it was like true to the heart. And maybe a little bit was like, you know, Brandon's very theatrical when it comes with this stuff, which is also cool as well. Uh, but apparently, uh, pissed off a lot of people. And with all that being said, I saw some of the resp responses, which were ridiculous, on the uh, comments down below. I mean, the guy's, this is a guy's opinion on something that he feels very passionate about. And, uh... Obviously, at the end of the day, uh, Brandon still loves his Carpenter films and still has them in his collection. They're not gone in the garbage or anything like that. That's not a that's, that's not Brandon. I, not the kind of guy he is. But I mean, just getting so much hate and then the video apparently remixed and stuff on other sites to like uh, just make fun. Which actually, I, I told Brandon, so this could make your actually on YouTube. This could be your your thing. This could be your like leave Britney alone moment where you can actually just like get a ton of views now from now on because of this here uh here this here rant video uh which is awesome but uh i gotta defend brandon right here because you know what he may this is what youtube's about it's about coming on and giving your opinion on how you feel about topics some of these topics are going to be controversial and we know that going in so brandon knew going in that there was going to be some controversy behind the statement that he made but he felt very passionate about that and there's nothing wrong at all with what Brandon said or the way that he said it. Uh, what is wrong is the way that some people responded to it. There is a way to respond to things and be like to disagree. And there is a way that it just comes off as uh, as, as mean, as, as, as childish or wrong. I mean, there's there's comments, you know, like, oh, you live in your parents' basement and all, all this kind of stuff. You know, John Carpenter is probably really upset about this. Uh, John Carpenter doesn't care about this. Trust me on this one. John Carpenter doesn't care what. No, John Carpenter doesn't care what, what I'm saying or what Brandon's saying. He definitely doesn't care what any of the people that are supposedly uh, defending him are saying. Because uh, I'm sure he's got better things to do. And I'm sure Brandon knows he's got better things to do at this time than care what, what whatever the hell we think. Uh, John Carpenter, I think, is a genius. I think he is an amazing director. And I think that uh, there's more to the story than uh, the 
than than came out right now. And if not, you know what? Uh, there's 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 reasons behind things that are that are done. I don't think that Carpenter just did stuff on this this movie here. But of all the movies that probably borrow from Escape from New York, uh, this one in particular just took something. And uh, I've got to do this one because honestly, guys, uh, how many freaking like Halloween ripoffs came out after Halloween? And you know, etc., etc., etc. And you know, and Carpenter himself, he's will always mention in his like in his commentaries when he's interviewed, he talks that Carpenter is a fan of westerns. Westerns, that's Carpenter's genre. If Carpenter, Carpenter could have came and made western movies and it would have been successful and popular. That's what it would have been doing. I saw it on Precinct 13. It's a western. Uh, Escape from New York. Yeah, that's very much a western uh, style film. A lot of his films are pretty much like uh, westerns. Uh, they're just like set in modern day times, but they're, they are straightforward like the westerns and he, and, he, and he draws from that and he doesn't mind saying that so uh i guess that's why brandon thought was kind of like you know what was a uh, you know okay good day but he's drawing from everybody else how can he saying this Be well i don't know i don't know i don't think we uh we we do know but uh and brandon like said said his piece and he said it really well and he had his passion about it and he just went any anyone and he went fun with it i think he had a lot of fun with the video that he was making I think some people took him way too seriously, and some people like uh, really took the whole concept too seriously. But I think in a few days, when things start to calm down a bit, uh, people understand that uh, you know. And a lot of people, like I'm sure that some of the people on there that made some comments, uh, hopefully at least regret some of the nasty stuff that they say, because maybe they spoke in passion and in the moment type of thing. And we all have done that before. We've all like uh, you know just. Oh, I don't can't believe you said that type of thing, and just spoke it. And afterwards, like, oh god, I'm an idiot. Oh, what did I do that for? Next morning, regret. It's not just for drinking anymore. It's for <laughs> it's for the internet. Um, just ask anybody that a Twitter scandal. Uh, but no, you did a great video, and I give him props and credit for that. I, there's nothing wrong with Brand's video. Uh, he didn't deserve any of the hate that he got. Uh, Brandon's a good friend of mine. I uh, I personally don't have an opinion on Carpenter being an ass for this or, or Luc Besson being an ass for this. Whatever. My I'm pretty meh on the whole thing. Uh, I was like, okay, he didn't ask for that much money. Maybe he just did it to make a point for something else. Maybe there's another reason behind it. Maybe he just doesn't like Luc Besson. You're an asshole. <laughs> this is what I'd get back at you. Uh, we never know. We don't know what's behind the scenes. But either way, um, Brandon made a really good video. And it, de and it gave Brandon's opinion the way that Brandon wanted to get it across. Uh, he made the video, he got out what he wanted to get out, and right afterwards, he you know, kind of sat back and bought the movies back in the collection and just said, you know, it is what it is. So, it is what it is. So this here has been a very short Vince perspective. I am enjoying Halloween month. I hope that you're watching my 31 days of horror, or at least watching some of them, uh, the ones that you like. I've noticed that I was surprised to see the ones that got the most uh, views. Now, uh, I plan to watch Christine tonight, but I'm not feeling the best, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get to watch that. I do have the slipcover, and I'm really excited about that. Apparently, that's rare. Uh, I didn't know that when I got it, but I know that my friend at HMV when I told him that I wanted one, I said, please, please, whatever you do, I uh, want it if it's got the slipcover. Uh, not because I knew of any rarity or anything like that, but basically because it looked really pretty and shiny. And that's the truth behind it. I'm trying to get, speaking of Carpenter, I'm trying to get all Carpenter's films. Uh, there's two people that I'm really, really collecting right now. I'm like, I'm checking, well, it's a few people, but I'm collecting all the Carpenter's films on Blu-ray that I, if I can find them. And I'm trying to get all of the Stephen King films. It doesn't matter if they're on Blu-ray or not. I'm just trying to get all of them. Because um, I want to eventually uh, get all of them together and do like a big Stephen King retrospective and like do a whole like thing of it, kind of like maybe I'll do like a oh, like a Decker Shadows, you know, it'll be the month of Stephen King type of thing going on there. Uh, I hope you heard that, uh, guys. Uh, again, yes, and I do apologize. Sometimes I know that my sound can seem low, and especially if you're wa watching this on an iPad or an iPhone or an Android phone. Uh, either way, uh, that you know, you can only turn it up so loud. Uh, I know this comes across a lot louder on a, if you're watching this on a computer or, uh, or if your laptop's hooked up to your TV type thing, you can actually up my sound there. I will be working on down the road grabbing a, a decent mic and uh, trying to uh, 
so you can hear me better. So until then, I, I have to work with what I have to work with. I just wanted to come on and talk about Pin's perspective. I really am excited about the Halloween Returns. So a lot of people have asked me about that one. What do I think about the Friday the 13th TV series that's coming out? I'm waiting to see how it goes. I'm, uh, I really like this the Scream series. I know it divided people. Scream Queens, I think, is funny, but um, the jury's still out on whether I think it's an actual good series or not. I'm still not. We're like five episodes in, and I'll be honest with you, I'm really not sure if it's something. I just know it's not really... I don't feel really invested in it, and I know that when I watch American Horror Story, uh, I'm usually in invested into the series, like, full by now. Uh, there hasn't been an American Horror Story yet, I think it's let me down, except I haven't watched the last one, so uh, we'll see. Now, I know there's a new one out there, but I kind of wait until the whole thing's out, and just, you know, I want to buy it. So, there you go, guys, that's my thoughts, that's Pin's perspective on things, and um, just so you know, i got to say right now, I want to give a... a a shout out to uh, to Chris to Lawsburg, who's actually a really good YouTuber on here. He doesn't do a lot of stuff on here now, but he's made some, a lot of great videos. He's part of the uh, Cathodre, and uh, just a really cool guy. Uh, <clears throat> he also talks a lot about his stuff and, and is very passionate about the uh, the movies that that he likes. We all are. I mean, here's the thing: uh, our group here right now of the cathode that uh, does the streaming. I'm probably the one that's on at least because, well, basically life unfortunately gets in the way and I live in Canada and uh, sometimes the time frame that they're going on is uh, doesn't work with me. But that's the way it has to be done, so I come on when I can go on. Now, here's the thing. I, uh, the odd guys on there are, are pretty great. As like Brandon said for himself, he's, he's a douche, but it, but he's not. Brandon's actually pretty much the opposite of that. He's probably one of the nice. He, he's, he'll speak his mind, but he's honestly Brandon probably speaks his mind in a nicer way than 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 a lot of us would probably speak our mind. Then again, I will probably be considered extra plate for being the Canadian guy. But uh, that's uh, I don't think that has anything with Canada. It's just my my makeup. Uh, we got we got Lauren Rom's reviews and. Lauren likes way different stuff than, than a lot of people likes. And Lauren would be the first to admit that, you know, my, his taste is, is different. And he, and he owns that, and he likes that fact. And uh, I, I really admire Lauren for that. We have our, we, me and our, Lauren argue all the time over movies and, like, uh, thoughts on things. Like, you know, has this movie been censored? Or, like, there's a bit rate. I'm like, I don't care. And uh, on there. And so, uh, but this is because we're both just passionate about the things that we, uh, that we like that uh I can actually uh which I'm a really good friend. Um Chris is the newest one. He's the uh he's a new kid on the block and he's doing a, a really good job with it. He's uh made some real he's really been a big part of the channel and has put on some fantastic stuff. And he's gotten some crap over some stuff which is should which is a shame and he really should not. This uh just yeah, just I don't like getting YouTube drama. It's not my thing. I, uh, here I'm talking about the uh, Brandon thing, though. Why? Because it's fun. Because Brandon will get a good kick out of this. And so will any, most of the people that watch this. No, I don't think anybody's going to take this as me putting down either Brandon or putting down the people that, like, uh, so I think that everybody just got passionate and got, like, heat in the moment type of thing. And at the end of the day, over a thousand people watched that video, and that's pretty amazing. That's pretty awesome. Uh, my best video... Uh, got 3,000 views and that took <laughs> quite a bit of time to even get to that. Uh, usually if I do collection videos or concerts videos I get you know I, I get a few and, I'm, and then that's happy uh, happy time but uh, there and uh, one other thing and I mentioned this before uh, a lot of people have been getting hate recently because either they've done their channel with, with uh, you know they've monetized their channel or they've done Patreon or whatever the heck you use. And it's a Patreon. Patreon's one of the things. Anyway, so that's one of them. But honestly, why not? Uh, I don't do Patreon, but if I did, would it change, like, my channel at all? Because here's the thing. The way I see the Patreon works, and I'm, I'm guessing this is right, it doesn't stop anybody from watching a video and not, like, doing anything or paying. Nobody has to. That's like Wet Movie 1. I think he did the thing. He said, you know, I like to go around the world. I like to do this. And, like, uh, you know, if you could help fund me, get that and there's nothing wrong yes uh and then people have to change my view of you 
you know, I don't like you anymore type of thing, but why? Uh, if he can go around making, like, to make enough money to actually do the things that he wants to do and do what he loves to do, I'll be honest with you, if I could quit my crappy job tomorrow and YouTube would actually pay me to make these videos and, you know, I'd make some <laughs> high-class videos and, like, do, do stuff, I would definitely do that. I would be all over that because this, I love doing this. This is a, a huge outlet for me that I really, really enjoy. So let's put for Halloween, let's just try and like focus on some positivity. Watch a horror movie, have some fun, eat some candy, have a drink, have two drinks, uh, enjoy the weekends. Work sucks. Most, uh, for most of us, work sucks. That's the thing. But you know what? That's the job. We do it. It's not called fun. It's called work. And uh, we do that because, you know, okay, on my days off, I'm probably going to like my days off a lot more. Because, yeah, because this is what I do. Uh, that's the thing. My job isn't it's not the, you know, the greatest job. Uh, but it pays the bills. And uh, it's, uh, you know, I'll complain about it to my friends. But at the end of the day, I'll go back and I'll do my job again because it's my job. And that's what I do. And it... And I can look around. I'll oh, see all this stuff here. I work. That's I work for it. And uh, even the people on YouTube, the the PewDiePie's, uh, or the uh, or the uh, wet movie ones, or the Brandon's, uh, that you know, they they work for what they do. They they do. They put a lot of time. They put a lot of effort into that stuff. And if they want to uh, monetize it, there's nothing wrong with that. They'll let them. If they want to have a Patreon account, there's nothing wrong at all with that. Why would people want to break somebody down? Or like tear somebody down because they wanted to find a different way or you, or an alternate way to get ahead. Uh, there's a lot of things like, oh, you get a job and you get this and that. Well, yes, you can. And if somebody decides that this is the path that they want to take, then you know what? They have every right to take that path. And nobody has the right to tear them down or knock them down because of it. Nobody does. You're not above. I mean, you work on our work and so do I. And you know what? If Wet Movie 1 goes out and makes a bunch of money and goes across the world, good for him, good for him for doing that, good for him for having the the, the courage and the gumption to go up and try to, to do something like that, and if he succeeds with that, awesome, uh, good for anybody that wants to make some money on here and do something, or just, or not, or you've just, there are people, you know, we, you know, we trade movies back and forth, we get stuff for some, some people get, we get stuff for, like, we get stuff for Christmas for other people, and we do things, we, and we uh, talk to, uh, and, and people that watch us, uh, Fans often become friends, and, and it's really, in my case, I guess, a lot of people that I talk to uh, that I think of as friends, I think as, as, as actual friends, are actually really nice people. Uh, and I, uh, you know, when I talk to them, I talk to them because I, I, I enjoy talking talking to people. I enjoy, I enjoy this connection. Here's the thing: I live in a in Newfoundland. Uh, finding the horror fans around here not always the easiest. So when I meet you guys on here, horror fans, movie fans, or whatever, and we get to talk and do stuff and communicate, this is one of the greatest things for me. That's what I love about YouTube. This has been Pin's Perspective. Thanks for watching. it. For me right now, it is time for tea. Say hello to my cat over there, my better half that's been studying half tonight. And for me right now, <sighs> my perspective is over, and I am out of here. Enjoy your night, guys, and why can't we all just get along?